All right, what if I told you that this bag right here is currently charging my Mavic Air 2, my Fuji X-T4, and a laptop? Would you believe me? I didn't either until I got this bag in my hands. Today I'm gonna to talk about why I switched to the Boost Pack for real estate. Let's get started. All right, so it's no big secret that I am an absolute backpack whore. I love bags, and anytime I can find a bag that's gonna make my life easier, I'll get it. Now this one, I did not buy. They reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to take a look at it. I've never heard of this brand before, but I said, sure, send it out to me. I'll put it on the list of shit I'm gonna look at. And quite frankly, I don't even like to take reviews like this unless I really need something. And I have been looking at bags because the Peak Design bag that I've been using, I keep dropping shit out of it because the stupidest idea that Peak Design did was have a slot on the left side and a slot on the right side. And if I forget to zip one of them up, everything goes flying. So this is the Boost bag. And what makes this bag so interesting and so unique is the fact that right now I am currently charging the Mavic Air 2, the Fuji X-T4, and I can charge my laptop all from with this in this bag. It's got a built-in power supply, which is just absolutely bonkers. Let me go ahead and unzip this to show you. So in the very bottom of this bag sits a 140 watt hour battery. And up at the top is what drives everything. You have a full power outlet up at the top with USB jacks on the side. So you can connect additional devices directly to this supply. And just with the flip of the switch, you can see it's now charging, which I think is pretty damn awesome. There is multiple storage compartments hidden throughout this backpack. Now this backpack isn't really designed to be, let's say a gear bag, but there's enough of spots where I made it into a gear bag and I feel like it's perfectly fine. For instance, I've got my lens in here. I've got my Fuji X-T4, which is sitting down there. And at the very bottom here, you can see there's my charger. Now this charger connects USB-C and it's actually charging one of my batteries. And then of course, I also have my Mavic Air 2 uh, battery charging directly off of the actual stock Mavic Air 2 charger. This is not the USB, you know, the plug-in charger. This is actually a wall outlet charger. And this will probably charge about three Mavic Air 2 batteries before I deplete this battery, which is pretty crazy if you think about it. So I'm charging those batteries plus the Fuji batteries, which don't take much time. And if I wanted to get even more crazy, I can go ahead and plug in and start charging my RC. There's this little pocket right here up front where I go ahead and store the Mavic Air 2. And then I have a pocket here where I store the RC. And down here at the very bottom, I have the charger for the Mavic Air 2. And then I have my Fuji X-T4 charger. So what actually is powering everything in this bag? Well, it's this right here. This is the battery. This is the power source that um, is making all this possible. So like I said, this is a 140 watt hour battery. When you're going location to location, you'll be able to take this and use it effectively. Now, this is 9,600 milliamp hours on the battery itself, and they have this convenient little charger here that you can just simply dock the batteries like this. And it's got an XT60 connector, and then it has another connector at the bottom here where you can go ahead and plug it into the proprietary charger. Now, there's two batteries with this kit, but they have it with just one battery. And um, yeah, so I have been using this on all of my shoots as of recent, simply because my biggest problem that I find is that I'll go from shoot to shoot to shoot. I'm shooting about four to five homes a day. In between those shoots, sometimes I forget that I only have two batteries with me for the Mavic Air 2, or I don't charge the X-T4 batteries. So what this allows me to do, as soon as I leave my last shoot or my second to last shoot, I start charging batteries. So by the time I get home, the X-T4 batteries charge. By the time I get home, my Mavic Air 2 batteries are charged. So for the next day, I'm already reset, ready to go. And um, I don't have to worry about things not being charged. So if an agent needs something on the fly, I'm basically ready to go. And um, I don't have to worry about it. So this battery is actually pretty incredible. It is enough to charge up a MacBook 
Pro 16 inch two times. So that gives you an additional 16 hours of usage. You can charge an iPhone up to 14 times from zero to 100, 14 times with this battery, which is freaking nuts. You can power a soldering iron off of this. You can power your boosted board if you want it. So one of the nice things about this is the fact that if you do have an e-board and you are out and about, you can give yourself about a half of a charge with this. It's not gonna be enough to tr fully charge the battery, but you can plug your charger in and be able to charge your boosted board just enough to maybe get you back home, which in a couple of times and you know, doing street photography, this has already come in handy. Now I have had this bag for about three weeks time and um, I just sort of wanted to run it through its paces to see if this was just sort of hype or if it was actually going to really be worth it. And I will say that for me, it definitely is worth it. The only thing I have to remember to charge as of late is just these battery packs. And it's just simple as pulling it out from the bottom of the bag, plugging it into the dock and I'm good to go. Now I want to touch on the materials that they chose on this bag because I think the materials are actually really quite good. It does not feel cheap. It feels, everything feels really rigid which it reminds me a lot of my Peak Design. I hate to keep comparing the two, but the materials are really, really quality on this bag. There's also pockets all over the place. So if you don't like how I have my bag set up, you can go ahead and set this bag up any way you want, which is pretty cool. You have a pocket here on the front where you could fit like a Mavic Mini, you can fit an RC, you can fit camera lenses, or you can actually, like if I take my flash off of this, and if I'm not charging this, I can just go ahead and slip my camera in this front pouch so it's like ready to go right out of the gate. Again, nice and secure. It's right there on the front for me, so I don't have to worry about it. There's also a pocket on the side. Now, these water bottle pockets on most bags are sort of a pain in the ass because they're only like a one size, but they put a zipper here on this pocket so it allows it to expand to whatever you need. So if you have something smaller, you don't want it to go flying out, you can just zip it up and you don't have to worry about it falling out. There is also one more pocket on the side here as I knock everything off this. There's a pocket right here, which again, if you don't wanna put your camera on the outside, you can put your camera right here on the inside and nobody would ever know it's there. It also makes it really convenient when you flip your bag around to access your camera. Like I said, this is not necessarily a gear bag, but there's enough of pockets on here. It just makes me think like, what, what the hell type of bag is this actually? So I'm using it for real estate, but I would love to see them make another version of this with straps so I could use this as an FPV bag because if I can strap some quads to this, this would be my daily driver for when I'm flying FPV. But for just your standard camera drones like the Mavic Air 2, or if you are a photographer, I think that this is a really great bag. It's a wonderful solution. There is a laptop slot in here as well. I'm gonna find it here. It's all the way down here on the side. And like I said, you can fit up to a uh, 16 inch MacBook and there's even more storage within here. You have all these little ports here. So there's no shortage of storage on this bag, but for me, it's really about the build quality. Like I said, I am so used to and spoiled by Peak Design but in recent weeks of having accident after accident with my Peak Design bag for getting to zip things up, I switched over to the Boost bag. And again, this is not what they intended it to be used for, but for me, it's functional and it works and it's keeping all my gear charged in between shoots. And for me, that's honestly invaluable. To be able to, to leave one job and know that my batteries aren't dead is really important. Anyways, this bag is not cheap. It's not cheap, it's 269 bucks for the bag and the uh, the battery, but you know, you sort of gotta think to yourself, would you not want your stuff charged or do you wanna have a portable power outlet strapped to your back? I mean, for me, it's pretty damn cool to know that I've got battery wherever I am. The only thing I wish is I had this with me yesterday. I needed to solder something on one of my quads and I didn't have something like this. So so freaking make me a, a FPV bag, guys. Come on, you can do it. Make an FPV bag. I'm sure it'll sell like like hotcakes because like I said, the, the build quality is, is, is really damn good. Super, super top notch. But uh, for photos, this is what I'm using. So I am actually gonna give my brother my 30L and I'm probably gonna give away my 20L because I'm just not gonna need it. Like I said, I've broken too much shit using those bags and I'm trying to be a little bit more minimalistic in my homes when I'm in and out. And um, this bag is minimal, 
but also has a shit ton of storage. So that's that's that. So that's the boost bag. There'll be a link down below if you want to check it out. And uh, I'll be back again with some more videos with gear for real estate for you photographer guys out there and uh, stay original. Thank you.